Hi there, Lee Greg Solo, the artist at Autodesk, and just want to cover how to use the Tomb Shader to shade this vehicle. Start off by opening up the Slate Material Editor and create a physical sky, which we can connect to the environment. So we drag that on there now. Make sure your active shade render sets are armored. Now we're getting um, some color from the shadows which we don't want, so I'm going to create a, a color correct to desaturate the color from the shadows. So input and then change the saturation to zero. Then just drag that onto the environment map. So now we're getting neutral shadows. I'm going to tweak the physical sky settings just to get a better lighting setup. The uh, azimuth and elevation. Okay, I'm going to create a shadow mat for the floor. And create some mapped material so that we can assign it. Get those together. And assign that to the floor plane. Okay, and then I'm just going to increase the intensity of the physical sky, just make it greater. Okay, I'm going to create two material with a map of two materials. You can assign it to the model. Let's drag that onto the model. And then I'm going to drag the diffuse map for the vehicle, plug that into the emission color. And a disable base, because we want that this example and increase the emission slide to get something like this and just a small amount of specular a um, bit of a bit of roughness there and we don't want any indirect specular either. okay now we want to ramp RGB for the specular tone map to get to our tone map Tune tone mapping. Speak of the tone map. I want the interpolation to be constant. So let's change those there. I'm just move this to the side so you can see. Add another one here, maybe grey. Change that to constant. Something like 0.7. Okay, if we go back to the tune shader and under rim lighting, change the rim light color to white and the width to 0.2. And we can also add a little bit of sheen as well, just to lift up some of the highlights, make it a little bit lighter. Maybe bring the sheen roughness down slightly. There you go. Okay, so for the tune edges, we need to make sure the filter type is set to contour in the render setup here. By default, it would be Gaussian, so just to ensure that. Okay, so if we go to the Arnold Render View window, uh, we get something like this. See, the teenagers are quite uh, uniform here. So we need some noise to break those edges up. So we create a cell noise and connect that to the edge uh, width scale. I'm going to do a render region for this wheel here so we can see the difference and do a snapshot so we can compare and contrast the differences. Okay, I'm going to change the noise pattern to alligator and increase the amplitude. You can start to see the noise appearing here. It's a little bit small here, so I'm going to increase the uh, scale here. It's looking better. So that's before and that's now with the cell noise. Okay, it's pretty much there. Uh, I'm going to add a color correct uh, imager just to lift out some of the shadows here. So maybe in the mid tones, we could increase the gamma slowly. Just maybe 1.3. So that's without it, that's with it. 
Maybe a bit less. Just to lift it out a bit. And then if you wanted to tint it, you could always add some gain to the colour here. Get a little yellow tint there. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and bye for now.